Okay, this is Gorgonzara's place. <sighs> Lots of beautiful memories here. Um, when I used to come here, wake up in the morning because you couldn't ever ever have porridge. You couldn't ever ever have porridge without washing your face. So our pattern was, we come out of the house right there. We come round the back. Uh, this jewel never used to be there, so we used to be able to see our neighbors and stuff. And then we'll come here. There was a little dish, and then we'll wash our faces right here. And then that'll be it. Then we're ready to go for breakfast. Um, around the back here, well, I don't know. Well, maybe it's because grandma isn't here. That's why all the plants are dying. But this is um, kind of like where Back in the day, the grandma used to grow strawberries, grandma and grandpa used to grow strawberries around here. And then spinach will be further up around here, as you can see, but they're dying because of obviously no water. Here, it looks like a total mess. That's our compost heap. So it kind of like recycled itself. Now, this is one of the ingenious things about this place. Although this is just looks like a normal hedge, if you look a bit closely, they are thorns. Now that's what you call natural security. <laughs> no one will mess with you if you do that. And I know this place is the way it is right now. Unfortunately, it looks all dry. And that's because, well, the sun is out and grandma isn't around. But this was all, this is the garden that grandpa used to love so much. You know, it's just a shame that he's not around to really take care of it because he's the only one who could, who liked nature as much. Not me though. Uh, that's the orange tree. To tell you the truth, I never ate oranges from it. They're all bitter. But right around this spot here, there used to be a beautiful, beautiful um, apple tree. Apple tree, and it used to grow very nice apples. Right? Um, just to see, so as you can see, that is what it's called. But to tell you the truth, this is Kaningoni Road, the road where this house is based on. And there's the front. There's the front. That's the lounge and that's Grandma's bedroom. And this is, well, meant to be the car park. Back in the day, Grandpa used to park his 404 Blue Peugeot right here. After a hard day's work doing ET runs and stuff. So this is the front of the yard. Well, we come round, then this is the walk path. Now, this place used to take care of a lot of people. So, this would be the girls' room. So, Sisi and all the Mazukuru and stuff would stay here. This was the grape tree. Fortunately, I was tall enough just to pick one out whenever I felt like it. Whereas others used to climb trees or whatever. And yeah, I think they normally get stolen anyways. Maybe people will visit grandma just to steal these. But, oh look, look at that, some nice ripe ones right here in the hiding. Mm. They're warm though. And this was the boys room. It started off with Uncle Tafato and Uncle Domi, they used to stay in here. Then. Tafuma and I and I don't even know what the room is used for and then that is our tower light that used to sh shine a sort of like a yellow light at night every night so we were right underneath it and that's the kitchen don't worry about these looking prison bars they're not prison bars just that you know, for safety